party, y'all. Yeah. It's neon lights as far as I can see. We're Matt and Nat travel couple based out of Nashville, Tennessee. After having our world turned upside down in 2020, we decided to set out on our biggest adventure yet, to see all 50 states in a year. In our last video, we were in Franklin, Tennessee, where we took an e-bike tour through the scenic countryside, had a wine tasting with a view at Arrington Vineyards, and explored the historic downtown. This week, we're in Music City. <laughs> Tennessee part two. We couldn't do Tennessee without showing you our hometown of Nashville aka Music City. Well we could spend weeks trying to show you everything that Nashville has to offer we decided to give you guys a little bit more of a tourist experience with a local insight. And while tourist attractions tend to get a bad rap there's a reason that they're tourist attractions and we think you should experience them at least once. In the future we would love to do a Nashville like a local video but in the meantime we have a detailed and extensive of PDF of the top things to do, see, and eat here in Nashville. So check out that link in the description for your free printable. But right now, we're not going to waste any time diving in on one of the most popular things here in Nashville, and that's hot chicken. Let's go! All right, so we are here at Hattie B's in line. Yep, so we came to the Midtown location, which is the original location, so there is always a line. Always And a line. <laughs> there's not convenient parking for it. But if you come to Nashville, know that after 6 p.m., meters free. are free on street parking, and they're free all day on Sundays. <laughs> is always a good idea. Always. I've never had a bad meal here. Oh, same. And while there are countless other places you can get hot chicken in Nashville. Prince's, Bolton's. Yeah, they're, they're all good options. Yeah. And I honestly have had great meals there too, yeah. but I feel like Hattie B's has been the most consistent for me. Yeah. It's definitely the most popular and there's a reason for that. So let's talk about the heat part of the hot chicken. Yeah. So you can get everything from Southern, which is no heat at all, all the way up to their hottest, which I don't dare touch, nope. called shut the cluck up. <laughs> I get mild because I don't like to cry while I eat. And yep. if I get medium, my nose runs the whole time. <laughs> I get medium because mild is just medium heat with just a lot less sauce. It's like drizzled over yeah. it, whereas medium is dunked in the sauce. Now you can get it on the side too yep. and dunk it that. yourself. So now we're headed to a writer's round. It's essentially a time when songwriters get on stage together and take turns sharing and singing their songs. Not only sharing the songs, but sharing the stories and inspiration behind those songs. One of our favorite things about writer's rounds is that many times it's songs that you've heard sung on the radio hundreds and thousands of times, but this time you're hearing them from the songwriter themselves. So you probably won't be able to hear anything live tonight because there's going to be copyright issues. So <laughs> right. just be aware of that. Yeah. But we're going to go see some of our best friends yes. play at one of our favorite venues in town called The Listening Room. <laughs> Brand new Jason Aldean single, Blame It On You. That made me drop everything for you. Yes, 
so they just called Matt Matt on stage so but this is Matt Houston I'll just show you what love that was so amazing I am so happy we got to see live music with our friends and I don't know how many number one songs we're in that room tonight we're in that room tonight but it's so honestly many. very as a songwriter myself it's very inspiring sitting in there and listening to stories behind and hearing their struggles and realizing like okay they weren't always hit songwriters <laughs> <laughs> but we've got something else cool we're about to do now so if you come to the listening room and then you're just super inspired with all the amazing music you just heard there's a cool recording studio right next door where you can go and record your own songs. They also have a massive library of karaoke songs that you can go in and sing yourself or with a group. It's called Nash Vox. It's just opened recently and we're excited to go show it to you. So you guys have to meet some of our bestest friends, <laughs> Brian and Karen. Yes. Hey. You saw Brian on stage at the listening room tonight. Karen was supposed to be up there singing, but... She's been on tour, so she lost her voice. Lost my voice, I'm just getting it back. <laughs> They're our travel vacation buddies, yes. and I know I can always count on Brian to want dessert. Yes! <laughs> yes! And if you're new here, welcome. We are going to all 50 states this year, so if you like this video, please make sure you give it a big thumbs up, and also make sure you subscribe. We would love to have you part of the family. We upload new videos every week so hit that notification bell so YouTube lets you know when we put out new videos. Also make sure you guys follow us on Instagram at Adventures of Matt and Nat where we post story highlights of every trip. But right now we're gonna go get some rest because we have a busy day ahead of us tomorrow. And we get to sleep in our own <laughs> bed tonight. We do. We'll see you in the morning. Good morning. It's an unusually cold spring day here in Nashville. Like, I think it's in the 40s right now, so don't let this sunshine fool you. We are freezing our butts off. So, so we're gonna go to one of our favorite coffee spots right here in the Gulch called Barista Parlor. Let's go. All right, so now we're gonna go explore the Gulch. So behind us is a very popular breakfast and brunch spot called Biscuit Love. Yep, it's where we were originally gonna go for breakfast. We were gonna get it to go and take it over to Centennial yeah. Park. But since it's so cold, we decided not to. And now that I'm seeing the line right now, which is pretty standard for Biscuit Love. It is, get here early. <laughs> I'm glad we went to Barista Parlor. <laughs> also lived here five years mm -hmm. and I've never seen this mural without a line. But there's about to be one now. <laughs> Enjoying this beautiful weather here in 12 South and one of my all-time favorite people, Dolly freaking Pardon. No, she's not here. Don't get too excited. Yeah, no, but this is her property right here. Yeah. All right, so this right here is the most famous sign here in Nashville. I believe in Nashville. Right across the alleyway is another one of the really popular Instagram spots and it's Draper James which is Reese Witherspoon's store and it's right here in 12 South. Welcome to Greece. <laughs> Or Nashville. <laughs> so for some reason in Nashville we have a replica of the Parthenon. <laughs> right here on the west end of Nashville not even two miles from downtown is this huge park called Centennial Park and it is a perfect day to be out here enjoying it.
look how huge the Parthenon is. So we spent entirely too long here at Centennial Park, but the weather has been amazing. That cold morning turned into a beautiful afternoon. But somebody is a little <laughs> hangry. That's me. Oh, and I was talking you. about me. <laughs> Other, we're just starving pretty much. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna head downtown to a new development called Fifth and Broad, which we haven't even been to yet, mm -mm. but everybody is raving about it. So yep. we're so excited to check it out. We've been quickly reminded why we don't drive downtown that much. <laughs> Parking is awful. We drove around for... Probably a good 30 to 40 minutes, 30 40 minutes. and I'm on Spot Angels, Park Mobile. There's no prices on anything. No. Yeah, and you just, you pull up to a garage and it, all it says is park here. And then you pull up and it's like... $85 yeah, later, no 20 thanks. 20 bucks for an hour, so... If you're gonna drive downtown Nashville, just know that you are going to pay some money for parking. So if you're here, maybe Uber. It yeah. might be a little bit better. Or park far away and then bird scooter your way in. I have done that many times where yeah. you park on the outskirts and do exactly that. How's your pizza? So good. I love Slimmin' Huskies. Today I did a signature and it's the cream and it's so good. All of Slimmin' Huskies menu items are based off of like hip hop and urban icons. So this is the Sino Green Pizza, which is really a meat lover pizza. There is no green on it and it is delicious. Also, any pizza place that offers dipping sauces is a win in my book. exploring the new Nashville with 5th and Broadway and the Assembly Food Hall. We're doing the Honky Tonk Mile. All right, if Nashville had a scam, what would it be? Buy one pair of cowboy boots, get two free. You're paying for all three of those and then some, I promise you. <laughs> talk on Broadway because there's so many songs going at yes. once. Every bar has music going so every 30 to 50 feet is a new <laughs> song playing from both sides of the street. Speaking of music in the bars, every honky tonk here on Broadway has live music that starts between 10 and 11 a.m. Every goes, day. Every day, seven days a week and goes all the way until 2 to 3 a.m. So it's a party, y'all. Yep. It's a lot of fun. It is. The place that we're at now used to be called Paradise Park, and it was a trailer park <laughs> inspired honky tonk. And yep. it was so popular that when they started this, 
there was like an yeah. outcry, so they started incorporating that back into this honky tonk. So every bar here has its own little niche, and it's really, yeah. really cool. So I don't know how many bars there are. I mean, it's literally one after another. New Orleans has Bourbon Street, Memphis has Beale Street, Nashville has Broadway. special place yeah. one of our favorites it is the epitome of a dive hole in the wall and we think you're gonna love it and it's Anthony Bourdain approved sure is. so there are a ton of food options on Broadway and near Broadway but a lot of them aren't really local and I don't feel like you're gonna get the true Nashville experience by eating down there. Thankfully, with Fifth and Broadway and the yeah. Assembly Food Hall, there are some local spots there now. But we came to East Nashville, which is a very cool part of town. We wish we could have showed you today, but we're gonna take you to one of our favorites, Dino's. So let's go. As always, Dino's didn't disappoint even the slightest. And while it is a hole in the wall, the quality of food is so good. I got the cheeseburger and I got it animal style. It's a nod to In-N-Out. And I got the Frito pie and I have nothing to say but that it was delicious. <laughs> in short, come to Dino's. Anthony Bourdain does not steer you wrong. Thank you guys so much for watching. It really does mean the world to both of us. It really does and obviously 
we couldn't even scratch the surface of all that Nashville has to offer. We love our home city and we want you to love it as well. So we're going to continue to put content out about Nashville. But in the meantime, please reach out to us through the comments or you can shoot us a DM with any questions you might have about this awesome city. But now we're calling it a night and that does it for this video. So please make sure you guys like and subscribe and more importantly, make sure you guys hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on our next video in state number 16. We'll see you then. Can you guys hear the chaos? Matt and I got thrown out of the hot tub. Right. <laughs> Cranes for days. <laughs> Cranes for days. You look out at the beautiful skyline of Nashville, what do you see? Cranes. So Matt surprised me with a saxophone player at the park <laughs> And I, I think he's gonna surprise me with a horse-drawn carriage. Don't get your hopes up. I know you made a reservation. <laughs> oh, they ahead. lost your reservation? I called ahead and they lost it. Cause I mean, I told him like, let's do it for the vlog. Yep. He's still not a fan. Yeah. So the place that we're at now is called, I don't remember what it's called. Sporting Goods, Sporting, sport, sporting Sportsman's Club. Sportsman's Club? Anybody else have crooked ears, so all their sunglasses? Anybody else? No? Comment below if you have crooked ears like me. <laughs> I would always put sunglasses on and every friend would be like, no, those are crooked. It took me years to find out that it was actually my ears. I just want to say that I'm wearing heels, so I'm almost as tall as Matt. It's exciting. And up a hill just a hair, and yeah, look at that. I don't even have to get my leg workout in today. <laughs> the wind. Sorry, but she doesn't listen to me. She'd rather. I really forgot how much I love people watching. <laughs> and there's some great people watching Ooh, on Broadway. <laughs> way better than Vegas. Oh, for sure. I guess for it's sure. just the redneck. Yeah. Girls night out. How did they take my picture and put somebody else's head on it? The audacity. <laughs> the audacity.